Leveraging social media to make the event happen is awesome, but like the event itself should not be online. When you're talking about online gaming, chat rooms, Discord, or whatever, um, it's a lot easier to be more casual on there. No one's caring about your appearance because no one really sees it unless you guys are doing like video calls or whatnot. Um, it's a little easier on sort of the social battery to do it online versus in person. But in my experience, sometimes it, uh, having just the right kind of uh, usage of your social battery, even in person, can be fulfilling at times. My name is Lowell Nottage. I'm here with you guys today. It's very exciting. Virtual reality was kind of like always interesting. I remember being at my friend's house, maybe like seven years old, and he had this old Nintendo one that was terrible. But would you say that you've made genuine friends in Rec Room or definitely. other? Yeah, 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 yeah. Def definitely. I mean, I've met some people in here. And now we're kind of like in real life friends too because they don't live far away from me. Really? <coughs> yeah. I oh, have like, so I've cool. met someone in this game who lives just 30 minutes away from me. Huh. Well, how did you even like spark up the conversation like, yo, let's meet up. I don't like... know. Like, I don't know. It just started. We, we've been in the same clan, for example. We're just hanging around. After a time, we realized we don't live very far away. For example, I know him for... Three years, two years mostly. That's okay. how it comes. Wow. In virtual reality, you are still yourself in the sense that when you hold a conversation, you are still you. But social media is when you're texting, you can't really get emotion through text. A lot of times I feel like maybe we talk about all there is to talk about and then the conversation kind of dies off. Um, all the cool points have been made. You present yourself as the coolest you could be in order to get like a like. You, put your coolest pictures, this, this, and that. And it kind of takes away from the aspect of having genuine conversations and getting to know each other. What's your experience with people through social media and have you had more positive experiences through social media versus in person? Um, I have more, I'm a better person in person myself. Um, like I do use pretty much all platforms of social media, but you know, it's very, um, I don't have a really great, like, keeping up with that kind of stuff. Um, I don't like impersonal, like, over, like, text message or, like, over DMs or anything, like, talking. Like, I'm really bad at that. Right. Um, I think I have, like, 80 text messages in my phone right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just, like, I really don't like that kind of impersonal um, interaction, and I'm much better when I talk to people in person. Right. Um, so, yeah. You know, in virtual reality, you could be a can of soup or a cool anime character, whatever you want to be. But that's all it is. You are still genuinely you. The benefits of like whether you want to meet somebody through social media or in person or through virtual reality brings all sorts of different possibilities. How has your experience like interacting with other people been? Depressing. Depressing. People, the reason why I'm a sad person. I was a very joyful child. Huh, that's true. Then I go, you know, this you game. Because the last time <laughs> I was here, it says wear a formal outfit. Like that so, yeah, I'd say depressing. Kind of like suit, but Your experience in VR has person. been depressing, yeah, or outside so of VR has been depressing? I don't give a damn. All of it. All of it. <laughs> uh, I mean, is there ways that VR helps this not be so depressing? Is there the activities that you find that you yes, enjoy doing one here? one thing. Yes, I do Pennywise voice trolling. You do Pennywise voice trolling. But I've kind of stopped doing it because I've struggled to do the voice because my voice starts from doing it too much. Oh, goodness. Having all these different communications through different mediums really helps because then you can... You kind of learn when to pick and choose what to use. Well, for like for example, networking, I've learned a lot of like in-person skills through networking, but like in virtual reality, just learning to just open yourself up and don't be worried what other people have to say really helps. So I think learning to code switch and then in the right situations, using both of those really helps. And I think in the future, I will continue to just be genuine, be myself. and. 
that's how you make the most realist relationships. Just being yourself. Don't be too faced, which I think social media really promotes. How would you compare interactions with people like this, these large groups, uh, as opposed to people that might gather through social medias or connect through social medias? Great question, especially after the pandemic. Um, I would argue that um, the magic happens in real life. Uh, social media is a great way to connect, but it also is, you know, it creates FOMA, it creates uh, anxiety. I know um, I used to be a school teacher and I saw it with the kids. Um, getting people away from technology on, you know, in real life, IRL, you know, <laughs> together, anything's possible. Um, so I, I much prefer the real life experience. But I do appreciate the connected, you know, in the absence of being able to get together how social media can let you connect. And a goal that I would have to incorporate all of this is just to make a really solid, like, circle, close friends. Like, sometimes, like, you don't find the best people surrounding you, but the best people you have to go out and find. And that goes with a lot of things. So being able to almost network with such a wide variety of the entire world you know, encourages you to get out, go out, do more, be more.